low low lens <coughs> low lens is the first place where I lived in when I came to Toronto but low lens was so difficult word for me to memorize to pronounce <coughs> because when I of course pronunciation is problem but when I memorize some place name I try to divide the word and I try to con consider the meaning each letters for example Tokyo Japanese has Chinese character and Chinese characters have each meaning and in this case Tokyo to means east and Kyo means capital so Tokyo is east capital why east capital? there is a history <coughs> Originally, Japanese capital was Kyoto. Kyoto is here. This is Kyoto. And 150 years ago, the government moved the capital here, east. So the government named Tokyo east capital. The big. So simple. But I can understand if I see the characters East Capital. But Lawrence, I tried <laughs> Low and Rens or <laughs> Lower and like this, but it doesn't make sense for me. <coughs> My major is in uh, geography, so I'm interested in place name because in my university I learned place name has meaning and place name has history and place name is interesting. Um, place name is uh, often made of made up of a lot of things. For example, topography such as mountains, rivers, hills, uh, valleys, or person's name, or animals, plants, or agriculture, uh, fishery, and commerce, like business, <coughs> or old story, old story, old tales, and anyway, a lot. <clears throat> so I thought Lawrence has something meaning and I hoped Lawrence has something meaning but I couldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> One day I asked my host mother what's Lawrence? She said uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I never thought that Lawrence is Lawrence, that's it. I was shocked <laughs> because I learned in my university place name has meaning, place name has history, but she didn't know that. So uh, again, I asked some people who live in Toronto longer, but their answer was were also same as my host mother's answer. I never care about that. Oh, <laughs> 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 that's why I start. I decide to start to go to journey to know 
street name origin. <coughs> Have you ever been wondering about street name, especially in Toronto? Today, I'm going to introduce some place name, some street name. <coughs> I think this is a good opportunity to know about Tron Swiss name, but a little bit. Because I think nobody go to Google. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to Google, you can find the answer. I think so. Okay, let's start. Uh, Tron Swiss name uh, often come from person's name. The first person is him. Do you know him? Is that the Lord, Lord Simcoe? <laughs> Thank you, yeah. <laughs> His name is Simcoe. John Gray Simcoe. Uh, yeah, his hairstyle is good. <laughs> uh, he's from England. And he is the first governor of Canada. His mission was to establish a town, especially here, <coughs> because to protect Americans' attacks. At that time, there was a war between America and England. And England colonized here, like this place, no, just bought the land, killed the land. He did a lot of great job. The one of great job, he made street. The first street in Toronto he made is Young Street. Now, Young Street is the longest street in the world on the Guinness Book. But why Young? Simco, his name is Simco. I told you, Toronto street name come, often come from person's name who is Young. Uh, um, by the way, Simco is so, do you know Blake Simco, Simco Lake? Mm -hmm. A lake name who come from him. And he also John Street and Grave Street and Simple Street. There is there are in Toronto. But Young Street come from him. His name is Sir George Young. He's also from England. And he's a friend of Simco. So he put he, he named. His friend's name. His friend's name. But unfortunately, he never came to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> this is about young. And next, Danda Street. Uh, okay, <coughs> Danda is come from him. His hairstyle is also good. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> uh, his name is Henry Dundas. He's also from England. And he's a member of um, Canadian government. So Young Street and Dundas Street were uh, so important military roads to protect from America. Do you, did you remember him face, his face? Okay. And next, sorry, his information is so short. <laughs> <laughs> Jarvis Street. Do you know Jarvis Street? Uh, where is Young? Okay. Here is Young Street. Church, uh, Church yeah. Street is here. And this is Jarvis Street. Little bit east. Jarvis Street is uh, come from Jarvis, of course Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jarvis family. But J 
Jarvis Street was uh, doesn't come from this uh, this family. There's cousin Samuel Jarvis, and he also really good did good, really good job. But I want to I'd like to talk about the, the family. This man is a businessman in Toronto at that time. And he had a land around now Jarvis Street. <coughs> he also famous for businessman in Toronto. And he had a wife and two daughters. And their house, in their house, there are uh, good garden. In the garden, uh, there are there were a lot of roses, flower roses. So his wife, Mary, she called her their house Rosedale House, and now because there. Their house was in now Rose So Rose is Rose. <laughs> <laughs> the last street name is Grove. Of course, you know because the most famous. Uh, Grove Street. I will show you. <laughs> 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 I think he was drinking Korean beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His name is Joseph Bro. And he is also a businessman. And he had a hotel on the on King Street. And he had a company of beer. Now it's Yorkdale. Oh, no, sorry, Yorkville. Mm -hmm. You hear? And Bloor and Jarvis, they are friends. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, imagine. Now, Broad Street and Yorkville, especially Yorkville, is the most expensive area in Toronto. And Broad Street, also, you go Broad Street. When you go to grocery, you can see H&M, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, so great brand store. But grocery, <laughs> Yorkville also come from this place. Also, young and blue. Little bit different. <laughs> this is uh, blue and bay. So near here. Now blue and bay. There are lots of high building, but at the time just street car and the second floor buildings. This is blue and uh, no young and Dundas. Of course, there is no intro center. <laughs> <laughs> Just street car and cars and some house buildings. Uh, can you guess where it is? It's on uh, King Street? King Street. Mm. Or Adelaide or Richmond? Mm. 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 This is Young Street. Oh. 
and we are looking for North Way, North Way, and this place is between King and Queen. Mm -hmm. I will show you Now's picture. This is Now. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe 80 or 70 years ago. Mm -hmm. some, yeah, some, some building was same. It's same, like this building, and I think here is also same. And next. <coughs> this is Dundas, uh, Burr, uh, Young and Dundas. I showed the mouse. I think atmosphere is same. <laughs> <laughs> and next.
Ah, sorry. Is it now? His face. <laughs> <laughs> In this presentation research, the biggest discovery for me is <laughs> this. <laughs> His name is Dwarf. So, I hope if you go to Broad Street, <laughs> in my, in your head, in your mind, there is, there would be his face. <laughs> Last, this is my opinion. Place name is just the tip of iceberg. This tip of the iceberg. This is ocean, and this is street name, iceberg. Under the ocean, there are a lot of history. And there were a lot of people, and they have different feelings, and they have different life, their life. And these feelings and life just it made story, history. And like this story, pile, 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 pile. Sometimes was broken, but again, pile, pile. And now we are just working on the top. This is story, broad story. So we can we are standing on the top. So we just can see street names. We can't see under the history. If you want to history, if you want to want to know history, you have to go Google or <laughs> the <laughs> But geography is history, and also place name has history and meaning and people's life. Now we are making history, okay? So we don't know now we are making history, but 10 years later, 20 years later, now our life would be history. <clears throat> to know knowing our city and to be interested in our city this means loving our city our city this is important thing and my belief enjoy your tone right thank you Your eye contact was great. You had good demonstration 
and utilization of the slides. Okay. Of course, very humorous. We all caught on that part. You did a bit of role play and using all these different aspects of delivery helps to keep your audience engaged and you do that very well. Research was very evident. Very evident. I was impressed with that. And you have a fantastic strategy of remembering and learning as I said as you were speaking. Last but not least, you had the comparison. Actually, before I say that, your nervousness was a little there at the beginning, but after a while, you can tell you got, you got more comfortable, which is very good. Nothing to worry about. And there was a part when you present, you touched on, ah, uh, but it was part of your presentation. But there's other parts you want to be cautious. When you speak, when you say, ah, 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 you want to maybe take a pause and then speak because you want to have a point the on and become all constant consistently. And last but not least, your comparison of pictures again really built all of the engagement, but overall you did a very excellent job. <laughs> I know you struggled with this at the beginning because you just had this idea about street names in Toronto, but you, you succeeded in make it making it really interesting. And I think for this audience, a lot of people from out of town, the more you know about your city, the more you'll appreciate it. And you really succeeded in doing that. So, um, so that was great. So you, a lot of people think history is kind of boring, but I, I wanted to hear more about more streets. But, but you did a really good summary. So that's great, and a bit of humor to it, which is not easy to do with, with history. But with a picture like that guy, you can't go wrong. No. <laughs> yeah. You can just show that anytime. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I like the hand gestures. Uh, is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, you really seem to get into it. Um, you had a nice long introduction. It could have been a little bit stronger right at the beginning, but you sort of got into it, so that was great. Nice personal story. Really teasing us with what is Lawrence. Uh, be careful of the coughing. You're sort of coughing a little bit when you're speaking. You gotta sort of watch that. Other than that, which sort of came across as a little bit nervous at the beginning. Other than that, it was it was really great. So um, don't say sorry. Don't say mm -hmm. I, maybe what I'm doing is boring. You said that at one point. I wouldn't do that. But otherwise, it's been really great. Thank you.